Ah, yes. The dessert table. It's nice. It's really nice. Let's go through everything on here, item by item. You ready? Yeah, it's going to be great. Welcome to another episode of Food Buffet Report. It's been a long time. I don't know how long. I'm just saying that since we've talked about dessert. Hi, guys. We're at the dessert table, and we got a lot going on, so let's get started. Start right in the center. With that kind of amateurly iced cake. Is that what you're talking about? That white cake looks like one of those concrete boulders that has a parking, a no parking sign coming out of it. You know, that, that weighs down the bottom of a no parking sign. Yeah. It could be like an old, it looks kind of like a pillar that they might've had at the house that uh, was in Gone with the Wind, like the base of the pillar. I'll have to look it up. Well, yeah, the Gone with the Wind, you never heard of it. I've never watched it. It's a famous U.S. movie that you probably made a, you probably had a Canadian version that you're more proud of. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite desserts is apple crumble. Looks like at the very bottom there, there's an apple crumble. It's some it, sort of cobbler. It's cobbler-esque. It looks like it's just in a glass casserole dish sitting there, not really anchored to anything. And it looks like if somebody came along and sc- scooped stuff out of there it would it would move around bang into the other cobbler dish it's weird how the teapots are just kind of all sitting there like they're on break you know (laughs) they're all together hanging out they're squad just teapot squad (laughs) so let's go back to the cobblers if we if we may i feel like those are the sort of dishes like someone actually came to the buffet with those and just (laughs) slid Like they, that's like you, what you bring to someone's house. Yeah. I brought a cobbler air and that's great. They just put it up there and then they're waiting. They're like, Hey, they're taking the co- our cobblers the best. What's a better way to see if your product's any good to the public by sneaking it in and placing it on a buffet and seeing people's reactions. Who knows yeah. that cake that looks like the boulder, the concrete boulder cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could be someone's cake they brought. They're thinking of starting a cake business and they yeah. took it there and they're like, look, our cake is the third most eaten one on the buffet. It actually looks like that that concrete boulder cake looks like somebody sliced it, not in half, but it looks like they've sliced one third off of it and didn't yeah. go into the middle. You're allowed to cut the cake. If they put the knives there, and just let the public go wild, they're bound to screw up the cutting. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Is the cake more attractive just as a solid whole cake or when it's cut like that and you can see the innards of the cake? If we look at the brown cake that hasn't been cut at all. It's the worst cake there. Because we can't see the inside of the cake, the first person that comes along might not want to initiate the first cut because they can't see what's inside the cake. They don't know what flavor it is. Should there be one piece of the cake that's like a a, a clear piece piece of plexiglass? Like you cut a piece out and you put it in there. That way they can look through the plexiglass and see the inside of the cake. That might be an idea, but I'll tell you, this photo was definitely taken pre-pandemic and I'll tell you why. Nowadays, you wouldn't have everything out in the open like this, people allowed to touch everything. I imagine what they would do now with a situation like this where they have a bunch of cakes and desserts is that they would plate portions and just have them all there for the taking, maybe with some with some plastic wrap on each plate plastic wrap is wreaks havoc on icing though so half of the icing you that you paid for is going to be all entangled in the plastic wrap when you peel it off the cake this one teapot that's sitting on the edge there's a spoon in it and there's a used pair of latex gloves or plastic gloves just sitting there what do you think that's all about i don't know I thought one of these cakes was going to be one of those, you know, those um, 
fake volcano cakes. Maybe that's what they were doing with the gloves. We don't have those in Canada. <laughs> yeah, you do. And then there's another cake in the back there, further back, that has orange stuff on it. You see that one? Carrot cake with little slivers of carrot on it? Yeah. Or do you think those are orange rinds? No, I think it's it's an orange cake. I don't it could be. Yeah. It's unusual. An orange cake. I've heard of yeah. carrot cakes, but I haven't had an orange cake. What conclusions did we draw during this episode of Food Buffet Report? I didn't learn anything. Did you learn anything today? If so, leave us a comment because we're trying to figure out a way to get you to engage with us. But we don't we don't know what we're doing here. You said, did I draw any conclusions from this episode? And you asked them something totally different. <laughs> God. It's not even the same question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you draw any conclusions during this episode? Let us know in the comments. And I, I just said no. So I answered the question. Yeah. See, that's all you want is engagement. So if they say no, there you go. You got it. Is that going to be enough? Leave us a comment <clears throat> and say no. Or just answer the question. If just, just No, just put no in the comments. If you <laughs> watched this video... If you've got nothing else to say, just in the comments, put no. Okay? Thanks. But if they don't comment, that's kind of an implied no anyways. Mm, no, it's not an implied no, because if they don't comment, we'll never know. <laughs> They're not going to comment. Thanks so. for watching, everyone. Thanks, everybody. You can eat dessert first anytime you want at the buffet. Yeah. Yeah, the buffet police aren't going to come and get you. Bye. Great job. Bye.